I'll finish up because I don't want to keep you too long and I'm very grateful that you've taken the time, you know, out of your day to speak to me about this. Um, sure. But I, I want, what I want to finish up on, obviously you've had a kind of semi-dialogue with, with uh, Sean Combs in terms of that he outright denied your allegations against him, um, which you would expect. Mm. Uh, if you were in a room with Sean Combs and it was just you and him and you sat down in front of him, what would you say to him? Yeah, if I were sitting down with Sean Combs, the first thing I would say is like, listen, first of all, I think I understand where you were at, you know, in this situation. And, uh, and I, I can understand it from your position, uh, why you were so desperate. But ultimately, I would probably ask him, you know, why don't you figure out a way to make this right with the public? I mean, Tupac Shakur was the most celebrated rap artist in the history of man. And his fans deserve everything that we can give them about what happened to, you know, to him so, and his family, of course, even more so. Figure out a way to clean up your own skeletons. You know, let people have what they deserve and what they deserve is the truth. So figure out how to way to get the truth out there, but understand that that's a delicate thing to do because you're implicating yourself in a murder. So, or at least a solicitation for murder. Um, so I would, I would just probably let him know that I understand, but that doesn't make it right. What do you think he would say? He would probably say, what are you doing here and where's my lawyer? <laughs> <laughs> Greg, thank you so much for coming to speak to me. Um, and, you know, I hope the, the whole of California doesn't burn down and I hope everything goes yeah, well thanks. for you. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah. yeah, all the best and thank you so much. Uh, You're welcome.